One of the things that I keep encountering is that people want to be nice, not just to fit in, but they want to be able to say, particularly to themselves, I'm a good person. Religion once fitted that role. Once it was acceptable to say, that person is a good Christian, which meant that they were a good person. Muslims still think this way, but for the rest of us, we live in a secular society, and that appeal to a higher being is no longer accepted, even by Christians. Instead, we must prove that we are good. Traditionally, men did that by deed. They did things that were good for their community. For women, they needed to be good, to be modest, compassionate, loving, considerate, nice. They needed to push their baser nature down and to show the world their higher nature. Men were also encouraged to do this. But for men, it can work as much against him as it can for him. That is rarely true for a woman. But even women who do not seek their higher nature still like to think that they do. In other words, even when they're bad, they still like to think of themselves as good. Liberalism has always had a feminine nature, even when it was nearly all male. It wants issues to be sorted by consensus, not by leadership. It dislikes confrontation. Instead, it wants to get its way as much as possible through that consensus. It uses emotion and words to push through their agenda. Threats, bullying, appeals are all used and acceptable. They do not like violence except in the most extreme of circumstances. They like to look like they are the most reasonable and most importantly, the nicest political philosophy that there is. Actually, they have succeeded in that. Most people do believe that they are the nice political philosophy, the only one any modern civilised person could support and subscribe to. So as liberalism destroys our civilization, our society, economy, the past and the future, and even in many cases our own personal lives, many people cannot see past the idea that liberal means nice. How is that possible? It does it by always putting forward its best face, by couching its words in such a way that it is inoffensive. When it fails, and it does fail, then they simply try again. They put out the same message in a way that is now even more inoffensive. You know they're lying, but you also know that most people will accept it. On the right, we are blunt, a mistake that liberalism rarely makes. Take no-fault divorce as an example. There were no street marches or riots, or in fact any kind of public campaign anywhere for no-fault divorce. Instead, it was brought in behind the scenes, barely talked about in public. It was presented as a gift to the people, something that gave them choices, and it's something that made them freer. People were trapped in loveless marriages, violent marriages. Parents argued, destroying their children's childhood. People were even murdered in bad marriages. No-fault divorce could solve all of these social ills. But it didn't, and it never could. Instead, it turned men and women against each other. It turned children against a parent, sometimes both. In short, it smashed families to pieces. But you will never hear a liberal tell you that. No, they will tell you that it is unfortunate and that it makes them terribly sad. But people, people need to be freed from bad marriages. To save some, we must sacrifice many. Oh, they'll never put it like that either. Take free trade as another example. Again, there was no public campaign. Again, it was all done behind closed doors public discussions on issues that had already been decided. Again, it was presented as a great way to get export industries booming, to get imports at cheaper prices, and to top it all off, international trade promotes peace. Are any of these true? It's not important. What is important is that they're nice. Every issue that you can think of, liberalism has an argument for, and it's nearly always nice. Something a good person could support. Sure, they might make a mistake or speak too harshly at times, but that isn't normal. 
Normally, they put their best foot forward. Normally, they make sure they say things nicely. People like nice, even when it's a lie. Maybe even more so.